Dr. Al Subramaniam is India's most famous violinist and his view of music contains a mantra in itself. He believes that music is a vast ocean and no one can claim to know it all. The more you know, the more you realize how little you know. It is an eternal quest. He's an inspiration to music lovers around the world and when it was announced that he was performing in Josie, Kriya immediately booked her seat. Every musician has his or her own approach to their art and some prefer to specialize in the works of a single composer or to play in a particular style. Then there are those who are consumed by a passion for music in its many varied forms and Dr. Lakshmi Narayana Subramaniam certainly belongs to this category. His repertoire encompasses the Carnatic tradition, the Western classical canon and jazz and his constantly in search of new ideas and fresh challenges. Dr. Al Subramanam is one of the world's most renowned violinists. He's played on stages like the Sydney Opera House and the Royal Albert Hall. And tonight, South Africans get a live performance. And in just a few moments, this theatre is going to be jam-packed. And you know what? I get an exclusive interview. Kriya enjoyed a brief preview as the violin virtuoso completed a final rehearsal before meeting her backstage. It is such an honor to meet you. Thank you, very kind of you to say. I think we need to take it back to where it all began. How did you get into music? I started because my father was a very, very great violinist and musician. I was really fascinated by him and he was like my hero, my guru father. So I wanted to learn violin. What was one of the biggest lessons you learned from your father? Patience, determination and work hard till you get it. Even though you had such a passion for music, you studied something else as well. I was very interested in science and I got all scholarships, everything. I got a medical seat, so I thought I'll become a medical doctor. But the second year, I had an opportunity to go to Germany to do my music and was some, one of the great violinists at that time. He came to India to perform. He heard me, then he said, he told my father, send him with me. He'll become an international violinist. He can be with me, he'll travel. So immediately we both decided, okay, I'll drop out of medicine and go. But when I went home, my mother said nothing to me. She said, you started, you finished the medicine, take that degree, then you can continue. I'm very grateful for that. Because of the basic degrees, I could do my PhD in music also. You trained in classical Indian violin, but you've also recently started scoring Hollywood movies. How did that come about? I was approached by Meera and I to write a score for Salam Bombay. They were very particular that I should do the film because they were listening to my music when they wrote the script. So I did that film. Subsequently, another film of hers also. What advice would you give to young musicians coming up in the industry? People think music is not a safe profession, which is partly true. But if you are passionate about it and if you have the talent, go for it, you know. You know what happiness and pleasure you get from it and also you give it to the other side. This concert would see Dr. Subramaniam taking the lead in a traditional Carnatic trio, accompanied by tabla and mridangam. The violin performs the melodic element or raga, while the percussion provides the rhythmic accompaniment known as the tala. had been swept away by the performer's interpretation and technique. But a standing ovation and a stream of personal congratulations 
could not tempt Dr. Subramaniam away from his customary modesty. It was incredible. We just had a chat with him now and took some photographs and I referred to him as a master. He's just brilliant. He's played with about the, the world's greats and he's amongst them. It was brilliant and the maestro is the best in India. Dr. Subramaniam always makes a moment to meet fellow music lovers. Being a legend from, from India and to come and share his uh, experience with our South Africans, we are truly appreciative.